neither interviews. Wayne Spinola is the referee. Yeah, Marty says he's young and relentless. Says that he fights like a wild man, but will use smart counters to stop his opponent. Very confident young man. Marty, Started karate when he was seven, by the way. Marty completely dismissive of the skill set of his opponent, Daniel Viveros, when we spoke two days ago. Yeah, Vivero said that he is opponent's greatest smart fighter, but he will use the pit walls to his advantage. So let's see what he means with that. Vivero said he feels that Marty would do exactly what he's doing right now, sit back and look to counter. And he wants to win this fight with a body shot. He says, I love the body shots. I know, boss, that you love them too. Big takedown. Beautifully done. High up on the waist yeah. and elevating with that takedown. No ground to pound the follow. One minute gone round number one. Switch of stances from the Ecuadorian, Viveros. Viveros, he's shorter than him, but he has a five inch reach advantage in his hands. That's crazy, right? Viveros looking for the front kick. Here comes the ground to pound. That is full on. Huge shots. Wow. Spinola reaches the five count. Oh, he's a little dizzy. He's not stable on his feet right now. You can see Marty. that indeed, Boss Marty, yep. walking back to the center of the pit. Now it's the guy, time to go body head for Viveros. Actually, nothing on that kick attempt from Marty going low. That's what he was talking about using the ball. Looking for the showtime kick in karate combat. Yeah, that kick not getting through. Yeah, Marty's coach is Dave Dona. He's a really great karate guy himself, who also fought for us in Greece. Unfortunately, he broke his shin bone in his fight, and uh, well, had to go to the hospital for that. Donna in the corner of Marty. Donna happy to report, not walking with a limp, said that he will be back soon in the karate combat pit. Good on the low kick. That landed hard from Vivetos, yeah. taking Marty off of his line. And immediately following up. I mean, he's following through. You see a lot of karate when they come straight from point karate, they don't, don't, they don't do it. But a lot of these guys, they told us they start doing kickboxing as well now on the side because it's full contact. Oh, nice straight punches. Look at that. Spinning back fist, but... Marty had already found the exit. Glad the pit is well constructed. That landed flush against the wall. Yeah, Viveros has great oh, distance. That is the end of a very exciting round of the one. They're doing it, but not perfect. Do good, but you can always make it perfect. Very strong round number one for Daniel Viveros. He's definitely slowing down Elias Marty. Marty was already looking like a counterfighter, even more like a counterfighter, really waiting. That's probably what his coach, Davey Dona, told him. Just wait for him to come and try to counter on an opening that you see. Bit of flash there from Villanos. Man, he's really he's got great movement, Viveros. Great distance. Look, he's staying just outside the reach of his opponent at all times. Very smart fighter. Probably is going to use the wall now in order to do something. Oh, nice. Spinning back hook kick. Yeah. yeah. Leg attempt. Referee breaks it up. Back to the center of the karate combat pit. Switch of stances for Vivados. Interesting striking guard for Viveros. Yeah, Viveros also with that kick. I wonder if he does, does the same thing now, but makes it a roundhouse kick. Sometimes it's a setup. Make it big so they can see, go for the body, and then suddenly switch it into a roundhouse kick. Like the question mark kick, so to say. 90 seconds remaining round number two. Much slower tempo to this round than we saw to the opening round. Can switch switches stances from Viveros. Marty's still really trying to find his rhythm, find his tempo. That's the thing. I think the first time in his life, maybe he got hit really hard because he's super confident coming in, like he co completely dismissive of his, of his opponent, but then he got hit, and suddenly we see this version. A little bit more calculated. Low kick inside of the calf, lands from Viveros. Nice movement to the side at the moment. Marty has was kicking. no interest there, boss, in diving in. Viveros fainted with the up kick, and that was enough to keep the Frenchman back. Yeah. 
It's very low for Marty. I was going to say, Marty, Fiveros is going to use the, that, uh, the wall. But I think Marty knows now. He doesn't push him further if he's against the wall or in, in the corner. Because he knows he's going to use it. 30 seconds now remaining Come round on, two. Go. See Marty slapping away the lead hand of Viveros. Viveros switching stances, switching right back to southpaw from Orthodox. Head kick from Elias Marty. Body strength. Two, two, it down. Big one, shots there, even the hammer fist. Reverse hammer fist from Marty. That was the first time I saw that. That was cool. Not sure if he planned it or if it worked out that way, but indeed, a reverse hammer fist. We are heading to the third and final round. Round three, fight! Third and final round, Daniel Viveros of Ecuador versus Ilias Marti of France. A combat debut for both fighters. Oh, big head kick lands from Viveros. Viveros continually boss switching stances back to southpaw. Yeah, he's a super explosive fighter, but so is his opponent, Marty. Marty needs to turn it up, though, in this round. Preferably, let's go, guys. Come on, let's go. don't let it go to the judges because he might be behind. Be behind. For all of Marty's talk about being reckless, being wild, letting things go, he's been a very cautious fighter, especially since he was dropped in round one. Yeah, but that's what Mike Tyson said, right? Everybody has a game plan until they get hit. Ooh, that was Good awesome. left hand by Mardi. Landed the left hook, flash knocked down on Vivetos. Yeah, that, 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 that right hand before, I believe it landed as well. Fight. Starting to find the target. And Spinola keeping this fight moving along. Again, Spinola and Bellabit, fantastic, the two referees. Swing and a miss from Mardi. Vedos and our fighter meeting boss talked about controlling the tempo, controlling the rhythm. I think by and large he's done that. Working, guys. He's working. Yep. His game plan is working. There's a little hook kick there. Big the swing and a miss from Vedos. Rare moment of wildness for him in this fight. Yeah, but Marty, that crazy kick that he did to the calf, that lands with a with a heel. That's how the only one I saw ever do that was the great and late Andy Hook. When he made a spinning back into Mike Bernardo's thigh, which was already beaten up by Peter Erson, and he stopped him. Won the show. Look at these guys going at each other. To the final minute we go of this lightweight bout. Marty has started to find his punching range a bit here in this third and final round. I say final with the asterisk. That if it's level, if it's a draw on the three California judges' scorecards after the three rounds of nine minutes, we will have an additional three-minute overtime round to determine the winner. Oh, counter right hand, then the left, a right hand right back from Vivetos after Marty landed. Keep working, guys. Let's go. Wow, Viveros. Almost there. Missed, then Marty connected, and then Viveros connected. Swelling under the right eye of Vivetos. One, two from Daniel Viveros. Missing with the head kick, swinging big. Swelling under both eyes on the face of the Ecuador. Oh, oh, Viveros again. Oh, the bell and the end of the fight.